What are some universal internal limiting beliefs that stop people from taking action? Hey guys, Jim Edwards here and welcome to another edition of Letting the Chickens Out with Jim. For those of you who are old school salespeople, uh, limiting beliefs is just another way of saying objection because objections are usually based on people's beliefs about a situation or an offer or something like that. So there are two types of limiting beliefs. There are internal and there are external. Let's talk about internal. Internal is stuff that they believe about themselves, about their own situation, about their own circumstances that's going to keep them from being able to do whatever it is you want them to do. Now, are there that you, you can take two different schools of thought with these also that things are limitless as far as there's an unlimited number of limiting beliefs based on an individual and their circumstances and blah, blah, blah. Or you can just say, you know what? People are people and they're going to have objections and limiting beliefs that fall into specific categories. I personally fall into the second group where I believe people are people and they pretty much have the same complaints, objections, and things that are holding them back. So here are some common universal internal limiting beliefs. No matter what you say to somebody, they're going to, there are going to be people who say, I don't have enough money. So it doesn't matter. They'll just say, I don't have enough money. So you're going to have to overcome that. And we'll talk about overcoming limiting beliefs at another time. But basically what you do is you use stories, examples, proof, other things like that. Um, another one is that's related to money is I won't have enough money left over. And I know that sounds similar to I don't have enough money, but they have money, but if they spend the money on this, they won't have it left over for other stuff. So that's another money related one. Um, another big one is I don't have enough time. That's one that's real common with people no matter what. I don't have enough time. Another one is I'm going to have to work too hard. So people are worried that they're going to have to put out a whole ton of effort. Um, another one is I'm going to get hurt if I do this. Somehow I'm going to get hurt either physically or mentally I'm going to be hurt. Um, another one that goes along with the hurt but it is different is I'm going to be uncomfortable. And my buddy Stu Smith always says you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. But most people are wimps and you can't just jump up in their face and say you gotta be, you gotta get comfortable with that. So if they're worried that they're gonna be uncomfortable, you need to know that up front. Um, another one is this is going to make me feel dirty in some way either dirty physically or dirty psychologically. Uh, another one is, this is going to make me feel stupid or I feel stupid. I don't feel smart enough to be able to do this. That's another one that you have to, you have to help people over the hump. Um, I, this will make me feel like I'm alone or I feel alone or I will feel alone or I'm feeling alone right now, or I will feel like I am less. This will diminish me in my own eyes or in the eyes of other people. So basically it comes down to if you're looking for scripts, if you're looking for things that, um, that you know, you know me, I'm the scripts guy. I'm always looking for the, the universal rule or something like, it's like when you're talking about internal beliefs, you can relate it back to all the reasons why people buy and they buy to make money, save money, save time, avoid effort, escape pain, all that list. We've talked about that before. And then their internal limiting beliefs come down to, I don't have blank. I can't blank or I won't be able to blank. And that's how you, you can kind of figure out the, the limiting beliefs. But in the end, no matter what you're selling, no matter what you're trying to do, no matter what you're trying to get people to take action on, it 
they're going to fall not i would say from my experience 90 percent to 95 percent of all limiting beliefs are going to fall into those categories that i just rattled off for you in this video i don't have enough money i won't have enough money left over i don't have enough time i'm gonna have to work too hard i'm gonna get hurt i'm gonna be uncomfortable I'm going to feel dirty, I'm going to feel stupid, I'm going to feel alone, I'm going to feel like I am less or diminished in some way. So you can pretty much count on those being one or more of your target audience's internal limiting beliefs and then you just need to frame it with whatever it is you're selling. So anyway, I hope that helps, maybe a little esoteric on a Friday morning laying the chickens out with Jim but I thought we would talk about that. And next time we're gonna talk about universal external limiting beliefs and what people believe about the world outside them that is going to keep them from buying, trying, clicking, phoning you up or signing up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, as a quick reminder, if you haven't signed up for the gym boat yet, what are you waiting for? You need to go sign up for the gym boat. It's going to be amazing. Go to thegymboat.com. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.